the crisis, the calamity, the challenge. 30,000 Albanians, including 10,000 children, have been made refugees by the brutal tactics of the Albanian regime. The good news is they have been welcomed with open arms by the good people of Deep Haven, who have stepped up and are now looking to find solutions for education, employment and integration for the Albanians. Thank you for the opportunity you have given us to contribute, to help and to make a difference to the lives of the Albanian refugees. We are proud and honored to follow the Deep Haven's community's example and create a solution for all. Let me tell you a little bit about what we have been up to. Our team has been researching, designing and is now ready to implement a solution for the education needs of all the Deep Haven and Albanian students. But let me introduce our team. First of all, Irina. Irina comes from Croatia where she works part-time as an EFL teacher and Spanish language teacher. She is also a freelance court interpreter and ESP University lecturer. In the school, she also plays the role of technology integration specialist and has been teaching for over 15 years. She's going to be talking about our delivery model and finishing off by explaining how we overcame some of the hurdles in designing our solution. Okay, she will be followed by Melina, sorry, Melana, who grew up in Chicago, Illinois, but moved out to San Diego with her husband nearly 30 years ago. Melana has been a high school teacher since 2001 where she has been happily teaching high school science in the San Diego public school system with a passion for oceanography and the marine sciences. Milana will give us an overview of our planned curriculum and how we met the staffing and funding needs of the challenge. Next will be Fatima, who grew up in beautiful India and has called sunny California her home for the past two decades. Fatima is a software engineer with experience in software training and now she teaches programming and mobile app development to middle school children. She will walk us through the course sample and explain how we will assess in order to main standards. Finally, myself. My name is Anthony and I grew up in South Africa. I've been an English teacher for over eight years and focus mainly on test taking and business skills. I will wrap up the presentation with a quick summary before going into a Q&A session. And now, here is Irina. Hi, I'm Irena. I will talk to you about delivery model in our proposal, needs of Albanian children, needs of deep having children, and finally about overcoming barriers. So, let's start. On this slide, we will uh explain you our delivery model. Uh, we are planning to apply district-wide blended learning model where all core academic subjects at all grade levels will have both an online and an in-person component of equal length. Uh, K3 students who have no one-to-one -one experience will go to school daily for half a day that will be either morning or afternoon and they they will receive their uh, in-person classroom instruction. This will be preceded or followed by the online portion of their day. They will do their online work wherever they have supervision. So that could be either at home or at one of the volunteered supervised location that will I uh, mentioned later. Uh, 4 to 12 students will have a schedule of one day in person and the next day online. Uh, this pattern could repeat every two weeks so every student would have five days online and five days in person or every two week period. Teachers would teach the same lesson uh, two days in a row so that uh, all their students will would be at uh, about the same uh, place. During the online portion of their day, students will be located where appropriate. So this means uh, 10 to 12 grade students uh, can also be at home unless they can't work independently. Others uh, will be uh, 
with supervision either at school or another location that could be public library, some kind of community centers, uh, different kinds of cineplexes, cinemas, city halls, private halls uh, or any such uh, place. On the, this slide uh, I'll explain uh, how does this meet the needs of the Albanian children. So we plan to do it uh, in the following ways. The Albanian children will be enrolled in schools, so they will be taking classes and getting support services like counselling. In addition to learning in a regular classroom, they will get the experience of learning online using mobile devices, that could be tablets, smartphones, iPads. They will also be paired from the first day of class with a Kidip Haven student of the same age to help them learn the ropes, thus easing their transition to school and life in a new country. And we are moving on to the next slide where I will explain you how does our solution uh, meet the needs of the Deep Heaven children. Uh, well, we plan it to do it in the following way. Uh, the Deep Heaven children, they will continue to receive their excellent education uh, that they are accustomed to. But they will have the benefit of going to school uh, with children from another nation whom they will be able to help acclimate to life in a different country. The second point, uh, they will be able uh, and become participants in the online learning revolution. Uh, they will gain experience that will help them in college and beyond uh, while being uh, supported by teachers and mentors. They will uh, all have the opportunity ex the ex to experience online learning which will help them now and in the future. They will have more exposure to art, music and project-based learning uh, that will make their education more enjoyable and more relevant. And finally, they will continue to receive all the support se services they rely on, counseling services, uh, preparations for standardized tests from the student teachers and access to advanced placement courses and those not available at the school site. And finally, uh, how are we uh, overcoming barriers with uh, our solution? Uh, well, uh, we had to find a good quality educational solution for the double number of students uh, uh, without much change in funding that uh, could affect uh, quality of education and we think uh, we made it with blended solution and uh, application of new technologies. Uh, we also had to uh, tackle the refugee crisis that affects uh, life in a healthy community for both Deep Haven uh, and Albanian uh, uh, citizens. Uh, because we think by uh, offering adult refugees uh, possibility to volunteer at schools uh, as uh, teachers, instructors, or some kind of mentors, uh, and any number of ways that could be uh, useful, uh, we are uh, we are promoting and building um, uh, a new and uh, healthy community. Uh, on the other hand, uh, regarding the refugee children, by giving them uh, equal opportunity regarding education, uh, we are helping them to integrate and uh, also we are offering them uh, all kinds of counseling and psychological support. Now my colleague Valana will take over. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Milena Tabak, and I'll be talking about curriculum, staffing, and the budget. The curriculum will come from several different places. Teachers will use the existing materials they have previously created, 
and new materials they will create to fit the new blended model of instruction that we are proposing. We anticipate that they will make good use of open educational resources, OERs. Examples of providers of these resources include OER Commons, TED-Ed Video Lessons, and Annenberg Learner. OERs are also available through universities such as K-12 Science from Carleton College. In order to ease the search for and the use of these free materials, we propose to use one or more curators to catalog and maintain a compilation of all the OERs. Deep Haven School librarians, as well as Albonian librarians, will be recruited to design and maintain the system with the help of volunteers. There are a number of companies such as Apex Learning and Fuel Ed that produce online course curricula, and our hope is that one or more of them could be encouraged to donate some courses for our students. If donations are not possible, we may purchase courses that are not available otherwise. All the online curricula will be screened to ensure compliance with the standards of best practices, including INACOL, the National Standards for Quality Online Programs, and National Standards for Quality Online Teaching, and others. The core classes of English, Math, Science, and Social Science will continue to be offered and we will continue to have our full complement of elective classes, including those such as some foreign languages and AP classes that have been offered online in the past. In addition to our after-school athletics program, we will be adding arts and music classes taught by Albonian instructors. The main change to the class schedule is the addition of a daily advisory period of approximately 35 to 40 minutes in length. This class will be primarily a place where Deep Haven and Albonian students will be paired up for the entire school year. All students will have this class during their face-to-face -face day, so they'll have a safe place to relax, ask questions freely, and get help with their academic work. They'll also be able to discuss school events, engage in team-building activities, as well as board games like chess or checkers and group games such as softball or soccer. One of our team members has had extensive experience working in a high school that used the advisory class to increase personalization and build a strong sense of community and grade level and school identity. We think that advisory can be the glue that holds the student body together as we progress through this unfamiliar and challenging time. Staffing. The 476 Deep Haven teachers who taught last year will provide instruction again this year. We propose increasing the student-teacher ratio to 25 to 1 to better accommodate the doubling of the student body. This means that we will be adding 324 new teachers a number of which will be Albonian teachers with emergency credentials, bringing the total to 800 teachers. Additional highly qualified special education teachers and aides as required by the reauthorization of the IDEA will serve the additional Albonian students with special needs. Any Albonian teacher who are Teachers who are not hired with emergency credentials will hopefully work as teacher volunteers. Their presence would be particularly appreciated in the special day classroom or working with students with learning disabilities. Approximately 3% of the Albonian students are GATE certified and would be served by GATE teachers in their core classes. About 360 of the 600 education students from Deep Haven College have taken Professor Letcher's class in online education. We propose that all of the education students begin their student teaching at the beginning of the coming school year, and that rather than switching schools at mid-year, they remain with their master teacher for the balance of that school year. We also propose that all Deep Haven teachers participate in a two-week-long professional development workshop prior to the opening of school in the fall. 
This workshop will be taught by the 360 education students from the college who have had online experience, as well as any current or new Deep Haven teacher who has experience teaching or designing curriculum online. The teachers taking the workshop, which will run for six hours per day, will be paid for their time. The education students will be paid a stipend and will get the experience of teaching adults. They will use Professor Letcher's class materials, which he has graciously offered for that purpose. This challenge will require as many volunteers as we can muster. We hope that retired Deep Haven teachers who can will return to school to help students, teachers, and parents alike. Volunteers will be needed to supervise students during their daytime online work, whether it is at school, in the library, at recreation or community centers, at the Cineplex, or elsewhere. These volunteers may include Deep Haven and Albonian adults of all ages. Older students will be able to act as tutors for the younger ones, helping with their online coursework. Since Deep Haven is fortunate enough to have free citywide Wi-Fi, students can quite literally do their work anywhere. All students will have either school laptops or iPads to use for their coursework. They are also welcome to use their own smartphones or tablets. Volunteers from the community as a whole will be needed to help with any hardware and or software issues that may come up. Albonian students will need the help of volunteer counselors and psychologists as they make the transition to life in Deep Haven. Funding includes the following. $60 million allocated for Deep Haven schools and students, $17 million in Title I funds, which includes $1,500 each for 11,400 students of low income. These dollars can also be used for teacher salaries. $10 million for federal food po program, which includes breakfast, lunch, and after-school snacks at free or reduced price for low-income students. These dollars can only be used for food. $5 million for 12,000 iPads from the Gates Foundation. $4.4 million in federal funds for students with special needs. $2 million initially allocated for athletics facilities improvements that Dr. Jones released for school student use. Additional Gates Foundation, Foundation monies may be available for the chosen proposal. In the past, Gates money has been used for teacher professional development, and the Gates Foundation has been a proponent of advisory classes in schools it has supported. Donations will be requested from the public transit system, local food companies, local churches, the YMCA and local businesses such as Office Depot, Target, and Staples for paper, school supplies, backpacks, and others. Expenses for the coming school year. $45.4 million in salaries for 800 teachers at $56,700 annually, $17.8 million for curricula, $11.4 million for staff and student support services, $3.6 million for public transportation for students, $2.2 million for teacher professional development, and $3 million as an emergency contingency account. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Fatima will now speak to you about the course that we designed and taught. Hi, my name is Fatima, and I'm going to be presenting these items, the two weeks instruction course sample, a walk through the course sample, and assessment of students and teachers. The subject we chose for our two week course was science for 10th graders, the topic was the effect of climate change on the ocean. We chose a problem-based learning format. The reason for choosing PBL was that a study by Watson and Grove has shown that with PBL, 
students develop intellectual curiosity, confidence and engagement that leads to them becoming lifelong learners. The learning objectives in the course. Students will understand and explain the effects of rising atmospheric carbon dioxide. Students will use a virtual lab bench to conduct an experiment. Students will analyze data and explore the possible effects of ocean acidification. Students will create a product to instruct 6th grade students on ocean acidification. They will evaluate this product and that of two peer groups. Let's take a tour of the course in the LMS. The LMS is Schoology. It's a blended course, a combination of face-to-face -face and online. Let's go on over to Schoology. Here we have the description of the ocean acidification unit in a nutshell. In this two-week unit, students learn the basics of OA, why it matters to what lives in the ocean and why it matters to us. In particular, they examine the impact of OA on the sea urchin. They learn its anatomy, what it eats, what eats it, and they use the microscope to work on a lab. This is a virtual lab that they perform on the baby sea urchins known as larvae. They collect and analyze data and they make conclusions about how ocean acidification may affect the sea urchin larvae. This lab is done completely online. They maintain a lab notebook, they set up the lab, they collect data and they analyze the data in the graphs. They also create a formal lab report of what they did, what they used, how they did it, and how it turned out and what they would do differently anytime. Even though it is done online, they do not miss out in any way on the scientific knowledge acquired. The formal lab report is followed by a discussion prompt in which they discuss their ideas with fellow students and teachers. The discussion prompt, the formal lab report and the other quizzes that they do over the two weeks culminates in a final product in which they demonstrate what they have learned about ocean acidification in an engaging way to capture the attention of 11 to 12 year olds, that is sixth graders. They make a book or a video, a short story or a website or an app to teach sixth graders about ocean acidification. They also evaluate the work of their own classmates and they participate in exhibition of projects. The OERs used in our course are mainly the ones found in the Virtual Urgent Project website. This is uh, developed by Stanford University's uh, Hopkins Marine Lab Group with support from the National Science Foundation. It includes uh, tutorials on the ocean and how to measure and the microscope tutorial and uh, the anatomy of the sea urchin. Let's go take a look at this. The first item in the online virtual urchin uh, study material site is the interactive study guide where the students step through this slides to understand the basics of ocean acidification. They then move on to tutorials on microscope measurement. They learn how to use a microscope, how to calibrate it and how to estimate. And then they move on to the main activity, which is the lab, where they measure the growth of the sea urchin larvae in water of increasing acidity. They do the entire lab online. The assessments used in the two weeks course, like we saw, they included a post to the discussion board, an online quiz, including some open-ended questions, Embedded assessment in the lab that provided immediate feedback. These are the answers they fill as they are doing the lab. A microscope quiz, a lab report journal that they maintain, and the final product that they make for sixth graders and that they evaluate. The student and teacher assessment that happens over the school year is similar to the assessment that takes place in the two weeks course. They have similar study guide, online quizzes, uh, labs and uh, other activities. Student performance will also be monitored by keeping track of how they move from online to in-person classroom on a day-to-day -day basis because they toggle between online and uh, in-person classroom on a day-to-day -day basis. Teachers will be assessed 
are monitored by using feedback from parents and uh, periodic reviews from students. Since we have children from another country, their performance at the end of every trimester will be compared with that of the Deep Haven students to monitor the effectiveness of the instruction. That brings us to almost the end of the proposal. Anthony will wrap up the presentation with a brief summary. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fatima. Okay, let's summarize our solution. Irina showed how we will use a blended learning approach that addresses the needs of both the Albanian and Deep Haven students with a buddy system. She showed us how we will overcome our biggest barrier, same amount of funding, double the amount of students. Next, Elena explained how we will use open educational resources and teacher created content for the online curriculum and with innovative use of staff resources getting volunteers and retirees from both the Albanian and Deep Haven communities we were able to stretch and make efficient use of every dollar the budget that gets the ball rolling and leaves no child behind. Finally Fatima introduced the course sample with a walkthrough and explained how the solution will be assessed to ensure standards are kept. Why choose us? We propose the application of a district-wide blended learning model where all subjects at all grade levels will have both an online and face-to-face -face component of equal length both for Deep Haven and Albanian children. The continuing application of the Deep Haven one-to-one -one program using iPads, laptops, and bring your own devices for all K-12 students, regardless of their age. Thank you. That brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you for your time, and on behalf of Team D, we loved working on the solution, and we strongly believe our solution is the best, but most importantly, will benefit both the Deep Haven and Albanian communities with an education system that meets and has the capability to grow and exceed the current model. Right, I would love to answer any questions.